Linda again. I'm doing a second part of cleaning video ideas, especially in this age of COVID. We want to keep our bathrooms very clean. And in this second video, I'm going to give you many hints about how to take care of your toilet. The first thing that I'm going to suggest is using something that most everybody has around the house, a can of soda, whether it's a cola or a a clear soda, just pour the whole thing in your toilet bowl and let it sit for about an hour. It will, uh, the acid and the carbonation will remove the dirt and hard water buildup that's in the toilet. Then simply take your uh, toilet bowl brush and swish it around and flush and you've got a clean toilet bowl. The next thing we're going to talk about, and this might be a little uh, fun for if you have children at home who like to do things, is make toilet bowl bombs. And I have a recipe for this. To uh, make your toilet bowl bombs, the recipe calls for one half cup of citric acid. And citric acid can be found at Target, Walmart, uh, any place that sells home canning supplies. That's You'll find it on the aisle with home canning supplies. And then the next item is baking soda, which I'm sure you have no problem locating that in the grocery store. And then the recipe called for a tablespoon of natural dish soap. You can find them any place that you want uh, to look for natural products. You simply take these products, mix them together, and you still have a rather dry mixture. Take an old ice cube tray, and then in each compartment, you press the, the, some of this uh, substance into the ice cube tray and let them dry overnight. They're uh, toilet bowl bombs will pop out and then you have them ready for use. And to use them, you just take one at a time, put it in the toilet. It will fizz and, and bubble for a while and it's fun for the kids to watch. And then uh, after about half an hour, you just take your uh, toilet bowl brush and brush and flush and you have a clean deodorized uh, toilet bowl. If you want to clean uh, your toilet bowl and you have uh, rust rings or uh, buildup in your toilet, a good thing to use that you, some people have at home is vodka. Use one half cup of vodka once a month in your toilet bowl and it will clean the toilet. Again, use your toilet bowl brush, swish and flush, and uh, you can also use the vodka to clean the toilet seat. Now, we have a lot of hardware that attaches to the wall in the back of the toilet, and I'm sure you've noticed rust from time to time because the bathroom is a rather moist environment. If you have rust issues, you can take clear nail polish and paint that over the uh, places where it's rusting, and it will not rust anymore. Now, if your toilet is not a water saver and you'd like to save some water, then all you need to do is take a two liter bottle em um, empty of the soda and fill it with water, put your cap on tight, and carefully with the top up, place it in the back of your toilet. And every time you flush the toilet, it, it will displace two liters of water, thus saving you that much water. Another thing that you can do to uh, clean your uh, toilet bowl, if you don't want to use your toilet bowl brush again, is to get a one quart mason jar, fill it with white vinegar, and then uh, put three little nail holes in the cover, screw everything on tight, and carefully turn it upside down over the tank and carefully lower it into the tank. You never want to break any of the hardware equipment that's in there, so be careful as you do it. And then each time uh, the toilet is flushed, a small amount of vinegar will seep out into the toilet and refresh it and keep it clean. You'll need to refill your uh, mason jar about once a month, depending on how often uh, people use the toilet and, and flush it. Now, another thing is the toilet bowl brush. You use it quite often. I'm sure you've thought about the cleanliness of your brush. So if you're worried about that, you can simply uh, take the caddy that it's kept in and put it in the caddy and pour in one half cup of vodka or one half cup of white vinegar 
or one half cup of hydrogen peroxide and just leave it in there. It will gradually evaporate, but this disinfects your toilet bowl brush. When you're finished using the toilet bowl brush, if you would just simply place it between the rim and the seat and let it uh, drip dry, that will also help curb uh, germs. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is your plunger. You know that every time that you've had to use a plunger, you hesitate taking it out because you're thinking how dirty it must be. Well, if you will simply take a couple squirts before you remove your plunger, put a couple squirts of dishwasher detergent and one half cup of hydrogen peroxide into the toilet bowl, swish the plunger around in this, and then carefully bring it out, let it drip dry a little bit. It is sanitized and you don't have to worry about the germs anymore. So these are just a few ideas of how to keep your bathroom clean using very simple products that you have around the house and hopefully saving you money. And we hope that you will come to the library and check out some of our books on cleaning hacks. We've got lots and you'll probably learn a lot and, and enjoy uh, some new ways of cleaning your home. Thank you.